can no longer deal with the burden of not allowing all of you to see this sexy face one final time before Christmas Day. So that's why we're here. And really, this is an impromptu video. Wasn't really expecting to do this, but over the last week, some things have arose. Um, sorry for the way I talk right now. <clears throat> Excuse me, I got very sick this week. Um, actually, on some antibiotics right now. Feeling a bit better. But uh, because of that, I have to give you an update on the Horrors Ball season finale coming up, the much talked about Behind the Horrors Ball documentary. Originally, it was supposed to be on December 27th. It was going to be available to watch. Um, because of this week, I've been unable to do oh, many of the final editing that I've needed to do um, because of being sick. So, because of that, I'll be forced to basically push it back at least a week. So, um, look for that to finally finally air in early January. Season finale documentary, um, season premiere of season three, the Golden Horn Awards. So, two big must-watch episodes coming up. Um, and sorry for the delay. It's been a, been a really shitty week, um, being sick and all. But um, also, some other things, though, to allow me to, to do this video for you guys. Um, it really is like Christmas here at Horrors Ball, literally, with some awesome packages that I've received. So I'm gonna do that, but I also have a uh, shout out to do quickly here. Um, a new YouTube channel, very new, as in like a week or two. Um, they're already up over, I think, 100 subscribers, which is awesome. But uh, she is called Madam Carnage. Put the link to her channel below. I am uh, not asking you, I'm telling you to go subscribe. Show her some love, watch her videos. She's got a couple up, a couple reviews up already. Um, a film, Creep Van which I actually saw recently as well, fun film. Check out her review. I think she reviews VHS as well on there. Um, sub, support, watch, you know the drill. Um, but again, I'm telling you, when Hedberry tells you to buy a fucking movie, you buy it. When I tell you to sub a channel, you sub it, so we're clear. So, show her some love, she's awesome. I got to know her actually over the last several months on uh, Facebook, really cool chick. Um, I won't say her real name, I don't know if you want it. Um, your real name out there, but uh, awesome person, loves horror, has great taste in horror, passionate, and uh, I mean, I think uh, the community, you know, guys out there, I love you, all the YouTube YouTubers out there, but uh, let's just say uh, the community is kind of a sausage fest, so um, definitely use more from the female viewpoint, which is very important, of course. Not upsetting all, upsetting all the other ladies out there, I realize, you know, there are few of you out there, but we could definitely use some more, I think, um, get that female perspective on horror and, uh, you know, cut down a bit on the sausage. So, uh, go check her out, Madam Carnage, again, the link will be below. And if you missed uh, the trailer to the documentary coming up, put that link below as well, I'll get you excited for that. I also did recently a review for HorrorHappyHour.com, check out on my channel the, the film review for a film that I just, I love and I just don't hear anyone talk about it. Not getting any love in my book called Rites of Spring, brand new horror film, came out a few weeks ago. Check out that review in case you missed it. Um, just a film that I just need some need some love out there, guys. Really awesome flick. Check out my review for that. And uh, yeah, I got these. I'll show you guys right now. This awesome, somewhat unexpected pile here. Look at this. This is just unbelievable. As my voice cracks. Look at that. I mean, that's that's as good as it gets right there. From some of my absolute favorite. Um, some of my favorite YouTubers, my favorite former YouTuber as well. So um, let me first show this. These are a few, and I want to leave these out since I was since I'm doing this, giving some thanks to some great friends. Um, got these a, a while back, but I wanted to include these with this with these um, awesome, awesome, epic unboxings. Um, a couple gifts sent to me, just out of the blue. Just saw the goodness of their their great hearts, their horror hearts. From uh, Gary, you all know and love Gary Coffey here on YouTube. Um, Saw the Blue sent me this um, soundtrack, CD soundtrack for the the great film Return of the Living Dead, which we all know and love. I did not have this at all. This is not a bootleg or anything. This is the actual thing. Awesome um, artwork in here, pictures, and uh, I had this on vinyl, but I did not have the actual disc. And I did that return tribute of the uh, the table couple months ago and he saw me show some stuff and then he just inspired him to send me this. Um, so Gary, thank you so much. Awesome. I was rocking this out 
way home from work in the car recently. And you gotta love this soundtrack. Thanks so much. Nice addition to my horror soundtrack collection, ever growing collection. Thank you, Gary you Rock. Uh, Vance, Falling69. Um, we send each other some stuff here and there, but uh, you guys know how it is. We don't, when we send each other stuff, I don't think any of us expect to get anything in return. When it happens, that's fucking great. But uh, Vance sent me a couple films. He went out there, he went through and, you know, actually printed me out some artwork which I would have been fine with just the disc itself. A couple films I'd never seen, Aurora the Curse, awesome. Fans, I love this, fantastic. Um, proudly resides in my horror shelves right now. Thank you so much. And this film, Scary Movie, um, I never even really heard of this one. We always talk about how there aren't enough Halloween, holiday themed horror films out there. Not enough of them and this one one I was unaware of and uh, he sent this to me and yet another quintessential example of yet another title that has no proper release on DVD or Blu-ray or whatever and uh, scary movie so awesome I can't remember it's either late 80s or early 90s I forget and unfortunately some of the film stock on there is just so dark at times it actually takes place which is a superb premise going through like one of those you know Halloween time fun house haunted houses and uh, a group of friends go through and it's such an awesome premise for a Halloween flick and this guy, this lead here is hilarious in it. Um, my, I absolutely love this. This Somebody out there has to put this, one of those, all those great companies that are out there putting stuff out. Um, someone needs to put this out on uh, proper release on DVD, clean it up, remaster it. But thank you so much Vance, I fucking love this movie. So Charles to you too. And yeah, I got Two great people there. I got three other fantastic people that are great friends of mine that I, I love, and um, I'm gonna cut these open and um, get them all ready to open up, and then I'll unbox them in front of you. I won't do the table POV shot. I want you guys to experience my expressions as I as I open these packages. So it's like a little Christmas here in Horace Ball. Um, thanks for joining me. I'm gonna do these awesome unboxings here. All right, I got this stuff all cut up, ready to go. Um, I gotta pause this really quickly though. For coming to you like this, not only am I sick, I can't speak very well. My roots are showing. My roots are showing. I need to get my hair did very badly. Got to get the dye job going. So I apologize for not looking my normal sexy self, which I should I like to look good for you guys at all times. But I apologize for that. But uh, really excited about this, guys. This, this special unboxing. Um, you guys know how it is. We all work hard. This last couple months have been off from me to work and all culminating here this week with getting really sick and. Uh, Still got some tough ships coming up before Christmas here, um, the next couple of days. But uh, to find this, you guys know how it is. You go to your mailbox. Usually, it's, it's some shitty bills or whatever that you gotta pay. And anytime you see, you get some big packages from friends you know and love from different countries, different states. Um, just makes you feel awesome. And uh, this is what it's all about right here for us, us horror fans, horror friends, and collectors. Uh, it's very appreciative of this. Gary Vance, of course, included in this. From some of my favorite people. My uh, brother from another mother in another country, my boy Richard, heavy metal real, one of my best friends, honestly. Um, I won his contest this past October for Halloween, which is an awesome honor. And he had won mine last year, my Halloween contest. So some headbanging karma was at work, I guess. And so I have this, this big package from him, awesome. Um, cut this open a little bit. So I know the prize contents, but I know he had said that he was gonna, he was kind of grabbing a few other things for to throw in for me that I was unaware of. So um, we'll see what that is. So awesome of him, of course, to do that. Um, my buddy Jordan, it's funny, I just got this in the mail like minutes before I started taping this. I checked the mail real quick and this was here, the surprise. My buddy Jordan, another uh, brother from another mother in another country. Um, I had sent him something. He, of course, didn't have to send anything back, but he did because he's an awesome dude. And I uh, have no idea what this is, so I'll do that. And then, the legend, that is my favorite three-letter word, Miz. And when you know any of you got anything from him in the mail, um, the classic logo sticker on there, wasn't expecting this. I mean, I guess we do unofficial trades. I mean, I can't do a real trade with him because he, he doesn't need anything I have because he already has probably eight copies of all of it. So, um, you know, I sent him something and uh, he didn't have to send anything back, but of course, being the awesome guy he is, he did. Just got this from the post today. No idea what it is, but if it's from Ms. Pole, it could be a piece of shit. Um, as long as it's got some type of horror thing on it, yeah, I don't care. But uh, so, so awesome. This is epic. 
in some sense unexpected. So uh, pretty cool that I kind of got sick, kind of worked out because that allowed me to push push back. I didn't want to do Richard's package, an unboxing of it while I was real sick, so uh, I'm feverish. So uh, purposely waited for it and then these other two things show up. So it worked out fine. Worked out epic as always for his ball. So I got these cut open. Um, that's all open Jordan's here. And yeah, charge to all of you, I wish I had a, uh, you know, I actually have some pretty amazing beer in the fridge right now that I'm un unable to take part of because of uh, being on the antibiotics. So that really sucks, but charge, whatever you're drinking, hot chocolate, tea, whatever it is, charge to all of you. And charge to, uh, just charge to great friends, no matter where you live, across the world. Um, YouTube can bring us together. Or Facebook, of course, because uh, the Mighty Miz is no longer on YouTube. So this is from Jordan. As you can see, no idea what this is. Oh man, that is awesome. <sighs> Jordan, you really didn't have to. I like had wanted this since it came out, um, since it was going to be released, and um, yeah, I was so excited to get this. And Jordan, you really shouldn't have. This is the the much talked about Arrow video steel book um, for zombie flesh eaters, aka zombie. Woodoo, whatever you want to call it. Um, gorgeous steelbook from Arrow. They've put out so many. I've been collecting them all. The Lady Snowblood, Demons. Um, couldn't wait for this. No question, one of my favorite horror films of all time. I've said a million times. I collect anything for this movie um, in relation to DVDs or Blu-rays or box sets or whatever. So, Jordan, completely unexpected. Thank you so much. Um, I appreciate it so much. Awesome, man. Thank you. You fucking rock. This is totally unexpected. Mind-blowing. You really didn't have to, man, but uh, thank you so much, man. That's awesome. Talk about, I am feeling great right now. Not because of antibiotics or anything, I'm literally, this is awesome, man. Um, I guess I'll do Mrs. Next. I totally feel like this is like Christmas morning for the Horace Ball show here. It is morning, actually, so just days before Christmas. From Ms. Um, no idea what this is. This is awesome. I can't, I can't look away from this. Thank you, Jordan, so much. From Miz, no idea, you just always know it's going to be great. Coming from the legend. I'm already smiling here. A card. I was taught, I was raised well, you got to open the card first, even though you don't want to. Hopefully he doesn't mind me reading this, it could be very, Miz Paul's a very you know, personal guy, passionate man. Just a quick thanks and best wishes. Merry Christmas from one man cave owner to another. Have a great Christmas to you and your family, Miz. Thank you, Miz. Same to you. Um, really cool card. Oh, man cave picture there outside. So awesome. This is going on the mantle. We don't have a mantle here at our house, but if we did, it would be on it. So I'll probably just tape it to the wall. Oh man, he sent me some, sent me some edible goodness here. These are cookies. Unless they're like little DVDs inside of the cookies, this might be a cookie box set. But no, this is a uh, butter mince pies right from the UK. This is amazing. Those look delicious. They even say truly irresistible. I don't even want to know how many calories are in this. Um, as you know, I got to keep my, my boyish figure. Those look delicious. Awesome. I think I'm taking one to work with me tomorrow morning. Thank you, Miz. Um, that's not all, of course. What else we got here? This, we got Mexican smoked chili peanuts. Miz, you're too, too kind. You're going to fatten me up. What else we got here? Expertly packaged as always. Look at this. Right after, this is so cool. Right after I open... Right, this is like this was rehearsed. It was not. Right after I tell you I buy anything for zombie flesh eaters, he sends me the Arrow non-steelbook version of it, which has the awesome slip cover. Really awesome. Like I said, I love anything and everything for this film, and to have this version to go along with the steelbook version is fucking awesome, man. I cannot wait to watch this. I don't think it's region free, so I'm, yet again, I'm going to have to wait to get a, a region free Blu-ray player, but uh, Thanks so much, Miz. That's awesome. Again, it's just another addition to my ever-growing, um, probably non, never-ending, uh, zombie, 
Tommy Fleshy's collection. And lastly, of course, he sends me, amazing guy that he is, once again adding to my hard box collection, XT. Peter Newton, George Eastman, I'm not going to pre pretend to pronounce this correctly. Um, this is limited to 333. Awesome, man. I do not have this one. Um, Oscar Bert through Holly. I'm not, George Eastman is in It's All That Matters, and aka Absurd, which I don't own at all. So that's really cool, miss. Thank you so much. Great addition to the uh, Headbanger Hardbox Collection. Thank you so much, man. Awesome of you. Sending me some treats to get fat on. Another edition of Zombie Flesh Eaters and another hard box XT video on the XT shelf. Biz, thank you so much. You're awesome. Merry Christmas to you and yours. Um, fucking awesome. Awesome, unexpected, very much appreciated right here, man. And then lastly, we'll do this. We'll do this uh, package from Richard. I'm gonna take a breather, man. I'm like, between the antibiotics and the excitement, and uh, I gotta take, I gotta drink something. You guys should see the floor over here. It's like bottom of the tree. Christmas morning, just packages everywhere. I just want to roll around in it on the floor, sleep with these butter mince pies and miss sent me. All right, final one here. This is awesome, guys. A lot of excitement from some amazing people. Great friends. That's what Christmas is all about. It's actually not what it's all about. It's about it's about friends, it's, it's about more giving gifts. I'm just fortunate enough that I received some um, from some awesome people. This is from Richard, big package here. I can tell there's too much stuff in here, man. Um, so let's see, some paper on the top. I don't know like how to approach this. A lot of papers, um, man. To my friend Tom, drink with Odin. These are amazing sketches from Richard, I assume. Um, yeah, awesome. So they're like signed and dated. Oh man, the Violent Vicar artwork. I've been I've been telling him I've been wanting some of his artwork to hang up in the house around the the Headbanger house because he's just such a talented guy. Um, Hopefully we'll be doing the, the artwork for Zombie Kids. Well, got to figure that stuff out, but I'm hoping. Cause, I mean, two Tom Gore lover. I mean, look at this. Such an amazingly talented guy. Um, not only is he a sexy horror loving headbanger like myself, but man, I wish I had a talent like this. Absolutely unbelievable. Thank you so much, Richard. You knew I, I been telling you I wanted some of your, your prints. Fistful of entrails. Stuff is amazing, man. He signed them all and dated them. Um, no question, I got some frames to uh, be purchasing here coming up. Unbelievable. I'm sure Lil Headbanger will want some of these. Um, Mrs. Headbanger. Awesome, man. Thank you so much. This is amazing stuff. To my friend Tom. Let's feast in Valhalla. Charge. Thank you so much, Richard. This is amazing stuff. These prints alone would just be this is mind blowing. Suicide Preachers, more artwork for uh, Nick and his films. Look at that. So awesome. Films I need to, by the way, purchase myself. Um, I've been slack in that regard. I want to support uh, Nick and his films. There's another one to my headbanging friend Tom. This is one graveyard. Part, this is one graveyard you don't want to party in. Oh, it looks pretty good to me, Richard. Awesome. Thank you so much, man. Didn't have to. I will cherish these and no question frame as many. I don't have the wall space to frame all of them, but uh, they will be cherished, man. Thank you so much. Look at this. We have a, uh, it's a Cradle of Filth, uh, Dusk and Her Embrace. Probably my favorite Cradle album. I'm going to call this like a textile flag, cloth flag. Awesome, man. Surprisingly, I do not own this already. Um, thank you so much, man. That's awesome. This is like, this is unbelievable, guys. There was a note, which of course I didn't, I missed already, but it was, it was buried a bit. 
there's a lot, pretty long note here, so I'm not gonna, not because I don't wanna read it, but I'm already way over as I usually always am. I figure this will be a quick little update video, and of course it turns into something greater. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna read this on my own just to save some time and because I wanna like, he drew something on here, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Um, unbelievable, he drew awesome drawing there. Thank you so much, Richard. I hope you don't mind that I, I read this separately. Um, I want to actually be able to take the time to, to read it. Thank you so much. I want to get this open to show people. It's got the Horrors Ball winning entry there, which is always cool to have. Man, I mean, he's got stuff wrapped up in here, an actual Christmas wrapping paper. Um, I guess this unwrapped stuff is the prize winning, so... I'll show those off. Cool thing about these prize wins is I didn't own any of these films, which is pretty, pretty, um, I guess, unlikely. But Stenhall Syndrome, Age Argento, um, don't have this film. I've seen parts of it in the past. I think I had like a bootleg somewhere, but uh, haven't even seen the whole film in its entirety. Being the, being the big Argento lover that I am. Um, so it's just awesome addition to the library. Um, another one of the prize earnings, I believe. I think this was one of them, Evil Ed, another film did not own. So looking forward to that. I've actually never seen it, that one all the way through either. Um, Murder Party, yet another film I didn't own. Uh, Finch is a big fan of this film, um, so I've, I've seen his copy of it. He has the hard box as well, but uh, didn't own that. So I don't even know, so much stuff in here, I don't remember what's part of the prizes and what isn't, but Psychos and Love, pretty sure that was. Another film I've, I've never seen. Heard of it, of course, but I've never seen it. Look forward to watching that. Um, this is this awesome box set, which was really cool from his contest. Um, Eden Lake, I had rented years ago, is in this. Shrooms, which I'd rented back in the old renting days. Love that movie. And Rob Deere, which is actually AK Manhunt, I believe, which I've always wanted to see. I believe it's a Norwegian film, I want to say. Um, but, uh, man, awesome to have these in the three-pack. Um, I love Shrooms. Eden Lake is a good one. And uh, I've been wanting to see Rob Deere for quite a long time. It's been on my to-buy list, my notebook that I've talked about. So uh, awesome three-pack edition. Awesome contest. Awesome, amazing prizes. Just too much. Um, a card player. Another gentle film um, I had yet to own. Um, I don't think this was part of the contest so this is probably an extra bonus here Richard so thank you so much man this is it's just too much right now I got there's like clippings of uh, some black metal clippings in here which is awesome big black metal fans that we both are really cool take the time to do that band accept got uh, some stickers here hypocrisy cathedral postcard I mean, Awesome goodies, man. This is just too much. You didn't have to do this. Um, oh, Fan of the Opera, our gentle film. I, again, I don't think this is probably contrast. I think this is another, another freebie that we threw, threw in. Do not have this one. So some of the, the later our gentle films, I don't have. Um, you know, I have all the early classics and the, the 80s stuff, the 70s stuff, but some of the later stuff I don't have. And uh, this is from 98, I believe. So, thank you, man. Awesome. And then there's some rat stuff. Some rat, what is this? Murder Set Pieces Director's Cut. You may be surprised. I have yet to own this. Um, it's like unbelievable that you, it's like you're inside my collection. You know what I do and don't have. Um, thank you, man. Awesome. I needed that. One of those things, seen the film many times, but it's never had my own copy to watch. And then there's a handful of like individually wrapped things. Richard, you really didn't have to. Um, as with anyone who sent me anything, um, you know, you're always, it's give and take. You're always gonna get something back. Head of Banger will hook you up. You know that, man. I know you don't care, but let's see what we got here. House, House of Orphans Limited Edition. This is numbered out of 2000. And I don't know what this is, or maybe told me about this before, but I really don't remember. This looks badass. Slip cover. 
And this looks awesome. Looks like it's Swedish, maybe. And this slip cover, really cool slip cover. Individually numbered on the back, 2000. Um, I'm gonna have to pick up the pace here, and I don't want to. I already, already screwed your note over. This is, this is a headbanger Christmas right here. So appreciative of such amazing friends. It's a shame we all live so far away. Oh, this is great, man. No, it's Snake. Dirk Benedict, I believe, stars in this. I uh, love this film, don't own it. So, he knows I love Creature Features. That's probably why he thought of this one. Um, both of us love Creature Features and uh, do not own this. Love it, man, thank you so much. Um, like I said, I'm sick, but I hope you guys can tell how much um, I'm enjoying this. Hopefully you're enjoying watching. I love watching you guys get packages. Um, it's awesome. Savage Streets, man. Linda Blair. I've wanted this movie. Um, a lot of people rave about this film. Never seen it before. Um, so cool. Can't wait to watch this. Badass Linda Blair. Tight leather outfit. Crossbow. Awesome, man. Thank you so much. Just uh, going to have to re-alphabetize the shelves after all this. From Richard and our friend Patrick. Watch and listen. I don't know what that means right now. I'm running out of time here. Oh, the film Patrick. Awesome, man. Yet another one I don't have. Um, so cool. It's like a sweet edition here. It's a two disc edition. Um, it's got the music track by Goblin. So cool. Awesome, man. Really excited about that. It's got music by Goblin on there. It looks like two disc. Extra Goblin CD soundtrack. Awesome, man. Thank you so much. I hope, I hope each one of these didn't have a little note on it because I missed it. Another one I know you've been curious about. Enjoy the edition. Special treat from the Swedish Viking Santa. Love the Swedish Viking Santa. Oh, I did want this for so long, man. I think he knew that. Uh, insane. This is a three disc edition. Thank you so much, man. I wanted to see this movie for a long time. I believe this is a Swedish film as well. Um, so uh, I know Richard is a big fan of this film. I wanted to see it for a while. I've seen the trailer. I know I'm running out of time really bad here. There's one more left. All right, sorry for this being, um, of course, extra long and, and choppy, but I think the last the last movie I opened got cut off, so I wanted to, to redo it so it didn't get chopped off. Um, and there was like another note before the last film, so I want to at least read this. Um, so I skipped the other note. Merry Christmas, Tom. I know you really wanted this movie, so I kicked Santa extra hard on his balls, so he would agree to send you this. There's a bunch of words crossed out. Uh, damn four tries, and I couldn't even get the word orc-ish right. That's a tough one. Orcish was the right word. He drew this orc. Awesome. You can see that. Um, your friend, Richard, have a cheesy good time. And he sent the final film, Orcs. Um, they will eat your face off. Man, I was so excited about this film. Again, it's been in my, my to buy notebook for quite some time, ever since I first saw the trailer a while back. Um, it's funny, I was just talking uh, to Finchie about this film. I think last week I was over at his uh, new home and uh, he didn't even know, he didn't know this movie existed. So uh, this will definitely one I'll be bringing over to watch with Finchie for some uh, horror chatter night. Um, Richard, I'm just completely overwhelmed. Unbelievable surprise package. I mean, it, the contest itself was unbelievable and the, the stuff that you took the time to, to do and send me and buy for me is just unbelievable. Um, you know, you're an awesome friend right here, man. Um, everyone else, Jordan, Miz, um, Gary Pants, and you know, all you out there, you know I love you. My good friends out there on YouTube, um, yeah, Facebook or whatever. Um, thank you so much. Hopefully you enjoyed watching this. Um, this was unbelievable, fucking awesome. You guys are great, much appreciated. Richard, you know I will uh, you know I'll be hugging you up down the road. It might take me till next Christmas, but uh, you know I'll get you. Hope all your Christmases out there are very bleak and black, and um, we'll see you very soon, guys. Thanks, thank you again. Thanks for taking time to watch if you chose to, and uh, for this impromptu Horrors Ball Christmas special. Had to show you, show off what uh, some great people that I know. And um, 
We'll see you soon. Next time I see you will be the season finale. Behind the Horse Ball documentary. Do not miss it. And then the season three premiere of the Golden Horn Awards. See you soon, guys. Again, have a great and black Christmas. See ya. I'm out.